Common sayings of lost people, number four, and how to answer them from the scriptures. I guess you think you are the only one going to heaven. Have you ever been told that? Friend, family, you know, whatever else, co-workers, you're the only one. I guess you think you're the only one going to heaven, that you're the only one good enough to go there. Let's look about that. Matthew chapter 7, verse 13 and 14. These are the verses you can show them. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Show them that verse of Scripture and say, okay, are there many people that go to heaven or few? And by the way, you say, well, dispensationally, dispensationally that thing's true. It carries into any dispensation. The vast majority are never getting saved. Right? It's always a very small number of people that get saved, truly born again. Um, and I mean God saving them. Let me say it that way. So you can show somebody that and say, okay, so a lot of people out there that call themselves Christians, do you think if they're all saved, they're all going to heaven when they die? All the hypocrisy and all the wickedness and everything else within the Catholic Church and the Protestant churches and Baptist churches and all these different, they're all going to heaven? Uh, wouldn't that make Jesus a liar in that passage? Hmm. Luke chapter 13, verse 23 and 24 then said one unto him, Lord, are there few that be saved? And he said unto them, Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and sh will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Again, show that to some lost person and say, Okay, are you going to go in? I know I'm going in, and I can show you the scriptures to prove that. I can show you from the Bible. First John five thirteen is a great you know verse to take somebody to, that they can know that they have eternal life. But show them that. All right? Don't tell me, though, the vast majority, I, I think everybody's going to get in. Then you're denying the words of Jesus Christ. He's saying just a few, just a small number of people are going to be saved. 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 14 through 17. Now thanks be unto God, which always causeth us to triumph in Christ, and maketh manifest the savor of his knowledge by us in every place. For we are unto God a sweet savor of Christ, in them that are saved and in them that perish. Notice the distinction there. Them that are, them that, you know, are saved, them that perish. Verse 16, To the one we are the savor of death unto death. Lost people you know, look at you like you're a zombie or something, in other words. And to the other, the savor of life unto life, and who is sufficient for these things. For we are not as many which corrupt the word of God, but as of sincerity, but as of God, in the sight of God, speak we in Christ. So what's going on there with that last verse? Oh, we are, we are not as many which corrupt the word of God. Broad is the road that leadeth to destruction. Many there be which go in there at. Many people are lost, in other words. Um, it isn't some kind of an exclusive club that we're just keeping to all, our, all to ourselves. You know, somebody attacks you and says, you think you're the only one going to heaven. Um, uh, we don't want that. Okay, a Christian is not somebody that says, oh, yeah, I'm not going to tell anybody else how to get to heaven. Um, we want people to come with us. We want people to, to be saved. Uh, but the fact of the matter is, the vast majority of people go to hell when they die. Why? They corrupt the word. They'll say there's contradictions in this book. They'll say, uh, uh, well, there's different ways to interpret. That's just your interpretation. It come up with all kinds of things. Or, of course, just attack somebody and say, well, you think you're the only one going to heaven, and, and therefore I'm just going to reject it. There's all kinds of ways to corrupt the word of God and to, to mess with it so that you can damn yourself to hell. I suggest you get saved before it's too late for you.